the reality is I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like, and I'm not being, I'm not being flip about it. Like, yeah. I don't understand very complicated things. And so I ask a lot of questions so that the person who's telling me something complicated, who's talking in terms as if I understand them, sure. finance or neuroscience, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. And I ask enough questions just so that I understand it. So is what you're saying this? No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, what are you saying? So, I mean, I'll give you a perfect example. So a long time ago, I had a client. They were a public company and uh, they invited me to sit in on a meeting, all the C-level executives and me. All the C-level executives sitting there nodding and taking notes in the PowerPoint that they had printed up in front of them. And I had it as well. And I didn't understand a freaking word of it. I was like looking around like, yeah, right. I'd raise my hand and say, I'm really, really sorry. I know I'm the only person in this room without an MBA, but this doesn't make sense. You say A plus B equals C, but based on your logic, A plus B equals D. I'd, can you just say it again, please? I'm really, yeah. I'm really sorry to slow the meeting down, yeah. everybody. And you could see the consultant getting frustrated with me and would try and explain it again. I said, I'm so sorry. And one by one, all the C-level executives said, yeah, I don't understand it either. Now, if the idiot hadn't spoken up yeah. and said, I don't understand, they all would have nodded their heads yeah. for fear of looking stupid because they don't understand. It's because I'm, I'm okay being the idiot because I have to ask questions until I understand it. But the reality is, is once I can get to the point where I understand it, I can say it in simple terms, that means other people understand sure. it too. There's a lot of value being the idiot.